uh, report in Rome, Nick Pisa. Nick, what are the details you're getting? Good, uh, good evening to you. Yes, Mark. Well, all, all we know is that uh, the Costa Concordia, which is one of the largest ships in the Costa Cruises fleet, uh, it left the port of Civitavecchia at around 7 o'clock uh, this evening on a seven-day cruise of the Mediterranean, uh, with about two hours out of port near the island of uh, Giglio, when uh, passengers reported it uh, uh, grinding to a halt, shuddering as if it was as if it had uh, struck something and all the lights went out and that uh, it almost immediately started lifting to one side and uh, taking on water. Uh, obviously, they're describing scenes of uh, panic on board as uh, the captain uh, at first apparently came on and said that uh, there was nothing to be alarmed about and that it was just a, an electrical fault, but uh, things then changed uh, very swiftly and the passengers were told to put on life jackets and make their way to the lifeboats. And uh, I understand that uh, these lifeboats have now been launched and they are heading to the island of uh, Giglio, where uh, the mayor there has said that uh, a full emergency is underway as they await the, the arrival of these passengers. As I say, there's around 4,000 passengers and crew on uh, that boat. And uh, we, uh, there is a bit of confusion as to what exactly happened, whether it did run aground or whether there was some sort of uh, malfunction uh, or, <coughs> excuse me, some sort of power outage. But certainly if the passengers are describing a, a loud bang and, uh, uh, and then um, the ship listing to one side, it would seem to suggest that perhaps it has indeed run aground or struck some object just off the, the Italian coast there. And with such a large number of passengers to deal with, any reports of any injuries yet? I, I understand that there have been no injuries uh, and that uh, just basically a lot of panic on board. I understand that there, there are some British passengers on board that vessel as well. And uh, it was, as I say, a seven-day cruise that uh, had left Civitavecchia uh, this, uh, this evening, was bound for uh, ports around the Mediterranean, Savona to the north, uh, Barcelona, then round to Palermo, Sicily, and then making its way back up to Chivitivec. It's a, a weekly cruise uh, that the Costa Concordia does in the winter, and uh, the, the boat is a uh, little more than six years old. It was launched in July 2006, and uh, it is one of the state-of-the-art ships uh, in that fleet. It has uh, 1,500 uh, cabins and uh, suites. Uh, there are four swimming pools on board, and uh, it, uh, it uh, cost, as I say, £450 million when it was first launched, and it, they are describing it as the jewel of the fleet. Uh, there is uh, the website uh, of Costa Cruises where you can follow the uh, ships or the boats, uh, sorry, the, the liners as they are at sea. And uh, the one for Costa Concordia uh, just has a message on board uh, on, on the screen saying that uh, service has been temporarily suspended, obviously giving an indication of the, of the problem that has, has hit the Costa Concordia this evening. Nick, thanks very much for that. More, of course, as we get it. Let's uh, just return to the papers tonight with Syed and uh, Karis once more. Uh, we take a look at the eye, and as they say, every little helps. This is a Tesco boss who sold 50.